Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js. Today we are going to learn about how to integrate the PayPal in the Node.js. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So first of all, let me open the link, show me the demo. So this is the PayPal account, right? PayPal pay button. So click on this button. So it will open the sandbox PayPal account. So here you can see that. Currently, I am logged in with that account. So let me log out with this account. Okay, so now I need to close this and now again, I need to open the link. Okay, so open the link. So pay, pay, pay now. Here you need, need to add your sandbox customer account. So here we have a sandbox accounts over here. Okay. So you have to create this PayPal sandbox account. So here I need to log in with my account over here, sandbox account. Okay, so here we have a sandbox account, right? So I can use any of the sandbox accounts. So copy the sandbox account and add the link over here. Email and then I need a password of it then view and edit and copy the passwords copy the password over here just add it over here password login so hi john getting your wallet okay so you can do with a credit card visa and anything so if you want to go with the pay balance okay or sp split with something or this you can do that one also so continue and review the payment payment successful this is done okay you can just uh, the payments reflected in a somehow time so when you done this one just log in with the business account of that one and check that the payment is reduced or not otherwise here you can see that we have a api calls right so here you can see the payment part so here you can see the this one and uh, the status is 201 that is okay so the payment with this one is done the debug id okay, here you can see that that the request which I sent over here and the response I get okay with the payment ID this is 635 right so here we go with the payment IDs here we go with pay ID with 635 right you can see that one okay 63s so here you can see that this is working okay so here response is getting on right so let's dive into the code level how I have implemented this one okay so here we go with this one code. Let me view that, wrap this. Okay, so I require Express, PayPal, REST, SDK you, you need to add and EGS for the NPMI for the view part templating. Okay, so here we have the configure the sandbox account with client ID and the client secret. So how to get the client ID and client secret? So here we go with the sandbox account, go to the apps and the credentials. So here we have the API credentials. So this is the client ID and the client secret, copy, paste and add it over here okay next we have an index so we are rendering the index page so here we have the index.egs file where we have the welcome to the this payment page and here we have a form with the button that is pay now okay so value and the currency we have added over here okay next go to the paypal.js here we have a create order amount and currency intent is sale payment method is paypal redirect urls we have both the success and the cancel Transactions amount would be uh, this one. We have added description is payment for the order. Okay. And after this new promise resolve or reject create payment JSON. So here we are going to create the payment. If reject, if the, if the payment is resolved, then we are going to approve that one. Payments.links approval URL redirect to that approval and then return. If something goes wrong that there is no URL found over here. Okay. So, and at the last catch that error creating the PayPal order. So in that case, unable to create the PayPal order, so th this will happen. N last one, we have a two, two URLs that is success and the cancel, which will help you to ha handle your response, payment ID. You want to save the data in the database, you can do with the, this one because here in the request body, you can see that we have all the informations over here, you can see 
the locals we have a payment id we have a token and everything payer id everything is there so you can copy and use this one to fetch all the details of that user and save that into the db for the transactions history right and the last one that is the cancel button where you can do the cancellation part if there is cancel then do the save method here also okay so this is how you can do the paypal gateway integration in the node.js any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day